Confetti Kids. Hey there, little learners. It's your favorite fuzzy friend, Yeti Confetti. Are you ready for another super duper adventure in learning? I sure am. Today we've got a big idea that's as cool as an ice cream cone on a hot day. Heh 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 heh, can you guess what it is? Drum roll, please. This episode's big idea is rhyming words. Yay! Rhyming words are like best buddies in the land of language. They sound the same at the end, like a magical rhyme time party. Now let's go on a rhyming adventure with our friends. Curious Chloe, Timmy the Frog, and Barry the Bear. Today, they're heading to the store for some rhyming fun. Let's join them. Yitty yitty. Hi everyone, Curious Chloe here. And today, I'm at the store with Timmy and Barry to find things that rhyme. Are you ready, guys? I'm excited, but I'm not sure I understand rhyming words that well. Don't worry, Timmy. We'll figure it out together. Look at all these things. Let's find items that rhyme like hat and cat. Great job, Chloe. Hat and cat rhyme because they both end with the at sound. C and at make cat. H and at make hat. Um, do bat and boat rhyme? Good try, Timmy. Bat and boat do not rhyme. They have different ending sounds. One is at, the other is oat. But it's okay. Let's try again. Now watch closely, Timmy. Box and fox rhyme because they both end with the ox sound. Okay, how about dog and log? Well done, Timmy. Dog and log do rhyme because they both end with the OG sound. You got it! Remember, listen to the ending sounds, like cat and hat or dog and log. Let's try some more rhyming. Let's see, which one of these words rhymes with the word ball? Is it the word feed or cat or all? Oh, oh I know, I know, it's all. Nice job, Chloe. All right, on to the next one. Now, which one of these words rhymes with the word growl? Is it chalk, pale, or owl? Hmm, must be owl? That's right, nice job, Timmy. Yay, we did it. Thanks for helping us, Barry. Yeah, thanks to you, I'm getting a lot better at this rhyming thing. That's the spirit, guys. Learning is all about trying and having fun. Great job, everyone. Yeti yeti. Well, little learners, it's time to say goodbye. But before we go, let's wrap up all the fantastic things we learned today about rhyming words. Remember, rhyming words are like word buddies that have the same ending sound. Chloe, Timmy, and Barry found many rhyming pairs at the store. Hat and cat, box and fox, dog and log. You did an amazing job joining the fun, too. Give yourselves a big thumbs up for being awesome rhyming explorers today. You rocked it. Now, keep practicing those rhyming skills. It's your superpower in the world of language. It helps you learn how to form words together and spell using how they sound as a hint. So, until our next exciting adventure together, remember, you're smart, you're capable, and you're always ready for a challenge. Goodbye, little learners. See you next time. <laughs>